exponential function. First, we want to make revision on the existence of the inverse function. We know that for the inverse function to exist, the function must be continuous and strictly monotonic. Moreover, if you want to find the domain of definition of the inverse function, it is the image of the interval i. Also, you know that the curve of the function and its inverse are symmetric with respect to i equal to x. Activity. Consider the function f defined on 0 plus infinity by f of x equals to ln x. Show that f admits an inverse function on i. Determine the domain of definition of the inverse. Plot c prime the representative curve of f minus 1. We want to prove that the function f admits an inverse function. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. It is always positive, so f is strictly increasing. And we know that uh, the function ln x is continuous on its domain. Then the function f admits an inverse function on i. Second part. The domain of the inverse function is the image of the interval 0 plus infinity. Since uh, it is increasing function, then it is equal to limit as x tends to 0, ln f of x, and limit as x tends to plus infinity of f of x, which is minus infinity plus infinity. Now, for the graphs, the graph of the function f of x and its inverse are symmetric with respect to y equal x. Now, we want to define what do we mean by the exponential function? In fact, the inverse function of ln x is the exponential function of x. And it is denoted by e power x, or we write e x p. Properties for the exponential function. First property, uh, the function e x or the exponential function of x, it is defined and continuous on R as we see in the previous slide. Because from the previous slide, we determine the domain of definition of the inverse function of ln x, and we get it is minus infinity plus infinity. Or graphically, we can notice that the graph of the exponential function starts from minus infinity till plus infinity. Second, the exponential function e x is always positive. Using the graph, we can notice that the graph of the exponential function is always above the x-axis. Third, the function e x is differentiable on r and the derivative of e x is e x itself. Then, since the derivative of e x is e x, and e x is positive, then the function e x is strictly increasing over r, uh, which is very clear using the graph. Now, since the function f is strictly increasing, then if e a equals to e b, then a equal to b, and if e a less than or equal to a e b, then a is less than or equal to b. Properties, EA times EB equals E to the power A plus B. EA over EB equals E power A minus B. E power A all to the power N equals E power NA. E power minus A equals 1 over E power A. For all X belong to R, ln EX is equal to X. And for all x is positive number, e power ln x is equal to x.